backstage at the Metal Hammer Golden God Awards 2014. I'm Dewsbury and I'm a guitarist. I've been playing guitars for a few years and I've got my guitar heroes. I've got the heroes who were my guitar heroes heroes. And then there are icons and the winner of the Metal Hammer Golden God Icon Award is sat with me right now, Michael Schenker. How does it feel, man, to win the Metal Hammer Icon Award of the Golden Gods 2014? Unbelievable. And it's Metal Hammer. It's unbelievable. Yes. Yeah. Who would have thought, you know? I mean, never in a million years would I have expected anything like this. Well, my, Metal Hammer is all about the rock and the history of rock and the people who have helped make heavy metal what it is today. And holy crap. Without you? The, the sound of heavy metal today would be completely different. You thoroughly deserve this Icon Award. How does it feel after so many years? Michael Schenk, you to be fair, you have been around the block so many times, there is a groove in the pavement. <laughs> you've just been there, you've kept on going, you've been there. How does it feel to still be relevant and still be worthy of the Icon Award after all these years? You know, if you don't expect anything, this is incredible. You know, and, and I, all I did all my life was just being myself. You know, being myself and, and enjoying play and discover. Yeah. And that, that's it, you know, that is, and then, and this is like icing on the cake. It's like, wow, you know, this is incredible. Wow. All right. As I mentioned, I'm a guitarist as well. And I've got a theory, right? There are many, many legendary guitarists associated with the Gibson Les Paul, with the Fender Stratocaster. You know, the Fender Stratocaster, un undoubtedly one of the greatest pieces of design ever. But then you've got Eric Clapton, you've got Jeff Beck, you've got Richie Sambora, you've got Buddy Guy, you've got all these legendary players. They're all kind of associated with that shape. I can think of two names who are associated with one shape of guitar. I've got Dimebag, and you know the, the, the Dimebag shape? Yeah. And I've got the Flying V and Michael Schenker. That's, 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 I'm coming up a, a blank trying to think of any else. How does it feel to be such an icon that you get what? this award and that's who you are? It's just, when you see the Flying V you think, Michael Schenker. But you know the funny thing is, I, I, I did not plan the flying V. It's all circumstances, and, and and somehow at some point my brother had the flying V before me. Mine was the first black and white one, right? And then he adopted that look, you know. But for me, it's like, um, you know, it's just like if it works, don't fix it, kind of a thing. Yeah. And I got so used to the shape that <laughs> when you sit down and you play, that you know, if we have another a different shape, it's like kind of out of balance. So yeah. so in general. It just happened, you know, but you stay with it for so long, it becomes part of you, you know, and I guess that's how it works. You know when you find something that just works and you just don't want to change it? Michael Schenker, you are thoroughly deserving of the Icon Award. Hold it up, hold up the Icon Award. An icon of heavy metal. Michael Schenker, you truly are. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a great night, brother.